Yes, this happens all the time, right? And the reason why it happens is because of the law of attraction, though. There is an emotion in you that you're unaware of regarding anger with women. And this spirit is a woman who's angry with men. And your, angry, your anger with women causes her to feel like she is, um, uh, you know, she feels offended of your anger with women, right? Uh, and so she feels it's unjust, and so she wants to be angry in return back to you. And so it's a law of attraction event, and it's there to help you access the underlying emotion. So once you deal with your underlying emotion of being angry with women, that you're probably not even aware of that you're having at the moment, right? What, ha what will happen is she will automatically detach from you, and uh, maybe she'll work through her emotion, or maybe she'll find another man she can be angry with. with. One of those two things will happen. And but this, uh, this spirit attraction is happening all the time. Many people are not aware that they've got 10, 15, 20 spirits attracted to them at any one time for all sorts of different emotional reasons within them. The key is to look at everything from an emotional soul perspective. And so if I'm attracting angry women, then it's probably because I've got some anger with women as well inside of myself that I have deeply suppressed. Right? Or it could be because I'm, I feel powerless as a man and an angry woman uh, feels like she can manipulate me or control me easily uh, and so that could be the attraction. The key is to allow that attraction to trigger the emotion inside of yourself. Yeah. But you didn't? Sorry, sorry. Oh. No, but just uh, ask this man. How do I get rid of, how do we get rid of bad spirits if we don't mind hanging around us? I've, I've had a bad spirit hanging around me for over 30 years. Yep. And I know it's always there, but I can't get rid of it. And one of the reasons why I came here was to, to see you, because you know, God works in amazing ways, and I believe that there's a reason for everything in life. Yep. And we're meant to meet cross paths with certain people for certain reasons. Certainly. I need to know, while I'm here today, how to get rid of this bad energy that I've had for such a long time. Yep. <laughs> it won't leave me alone because I don't know how to get rid of it. Yep. I've been trying and fighting. I've yep. fought on my life. Yep. And I'm still fighting. The, the key is to not, um, to not fight the process so much. Imagine, so here's your soul, right? Your soul has different emotions in it. Those emotions are attracting spirits in the spirit world to you. You follow me? And the spirit in the spirit world has emotions in them as well. And the two sets of emotions cause a mutual attraction. Now, the key then is to ask yourself, well, what, what kinds of things does this spirit do with you? So if you allow yourself... He makes you depressed. He makes you... Depressed. Depressed? And angry. All right. Depressed and angry. Now... Depression is a cover for anger, and anger is a cover for even deeper emotions, right? Great. Grief. Now, what's happening with this spirit is this spirit is in an angry state themselves. And what he's doing is he's connecting with your unhealed anger <coughs> and your unhealed grief, and, and then motivating you through that feeling to do things, or to say things, or to, to act in certain ways with different people. Once you deal with this underlying causal emotion of grief, that will mean that you're no longer angry and that you're no longer depressed. And what will happen is that spirit will either deal with his as well, or he will leave you. How do I deal with that first though? This one? Or this one? That one. The bottom one. The bottom one, grief. At the moment, you're not allowing yourself to actually get into sadness. So you do a lot of, you, you're in a depressed state or in an angry state, but you're not allowing yourself to get into core grief about your childhood, things that happened when you were, when you were small. <coughs> and there's a, shut, there's a strong shutdown that you have towards your childhood emotions. Yes. And that shutdown is what's creating the anger. Right? So if you, allow, if you just flip that over and you start saying to yourself, I'm allowed to be crying, I'm allowed to feel my grief, what will happen is as you release your grief, your childhood grief, the anger will disappear automatically and depression will disappear automatically as well. But as a result, this spirit will actually start feeling less attracted to you. 
and so he will have less influence over you, and in fact, he'll get to a point where he'll just leave you. And I'll never have him again. And you'll never have him again. Now, now the truth is that we can expel that spirit from you. The truth is that we can expel the spirit, but the problem with expelling the spirit from you, or getting the spirit out of your, what, what people call your aura, or your connection with your spirit body. So the problem, the problem with getting, getting this spirit expelled from you is that that leaves you open with these emotions for other spirits that you don't know coming and attacking you in a similar way. Right? So it's far better for you to have a spirit you know that's been with you for 30 years <laughs> than it is for, a spirit, spirit for three or four or five spirits you don't know. Right? So, so in the first century I said it's far Quite often, if they'd expect they'd expect me to expel a spirit, and what would often happen is that if you ex expelled the spirit, seven other spirits would come along, and cause a lot more damage to the person because they hadn't dealt with their emotion. Right. So, I'm still stuck with seven other spirits. <coughs> no, no, you've only you've only got one. Oh, okay. Ma one main fellow. He's a, he's a man, and he has a very very strong feeling of grief within him too but he covers that over with his anger and what what's connecting is your anger and his anger are, are about the same things you follow me so though he has the same kind of anger you have and it's about the same kind of childhood events that you've experienced and if you allow yourself to go into the grief about it he will also probably go into his grief about it but even if he doesn't he will probably go somewhere else so I need to go deep within myself Back to when I was very young. Yep. To relieve this problem. Yes, that's correct. To solve this problem. That's right. And when you do that, it'll be solved permanently. Permanently. You'll never have. Never. You'll never be able to have another spirit attached to you like that again. <coughs> but if if you just get rid of the spirit by using techniques of throwing things at him and throwing energy at him or all those kind of things, what will happen is he he might go, but another spirit will come along. I feel like I've been, I've been held back for a long time. Held back for a lot of things I want to enjoy Yeah, yeah. Some of the things I, 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 will, I will share in this room is that um, I'm not going to be able to do that again. Yeah, and you you fought those things really well because you actually had a spirit attached to you wanting you to do those things as well. Perhaps. All, all through that, I'm saying Perhaps. you do have. Yeah. Perhaps. But I, I, I think I did a lot of those things because I didn't know how to deal with underlying problems that I had. So yeah. I would turn to alcohol and drugs. That's right. To try and uh, block those emotions out. That's right. But in the end, I knew that I was wrong and I was doing me more harm than good. Yeah. So the key now is for you to go into that grief, into that childhood grief. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I will talk to you about that later. Okay. Um, well, it's sometimes difficult for me to talk with each person who wants to talk with me, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs>